welcome back to JME CK exam series so we'll discuss one more question as part of the CK exam series so the question says there is an existing wordpress application running with three replicas in the relative for a namespace and the, it consists of CPU and memory resource re requests also it's provided uh, resources also provided CPU and memory what we need to do is we need to adjust the pod resource request by dividing evenly across all the three pods there is a three replicas running right so that's the reason we need to divide the resources available resources that is CPU and memory across all three pods so we need to give a fair allocation fair uh, number fair allocation of resources CPU and memory and also consider while allocating this uh, resources we need to consider overhead to keep the node is stable okay and the both the uh, containers should use the same request that is the wordpress uh, application container and any init containers if it is having so both need to be have the same resource request of cpu and memory so apart from that we don't want to change any other resource limits so if required temporarily we can scale the wordpress deployment to zero while making the changes to the resources and the finally once we update we need to confirm make sure the wordpress application is running with three replicas and the pods are all running and already that is the question is all about so let's begin the practical task so i have made some notes okay so first verify the notes okay there is a one node running so we'll just describe node node name followed by there is a command i have okay so we'll follow the already documented uh, steps okay so first first we'll create a namespace in the exam you don't want to create any namespace and the deployment this will be already created for you you just need to verify the node related res uh, resources and you need to modify accordingly so just to set the exam kind of environment i'm creating the uh, namespace okay and also i have a deployment here i will just apply that so the deployment also created now now we need to dive into our actual uh, question so we'll just describe the node and we'll grab the capacity and resource details okay you can see right our node have only one cpu and 2015360 ki of memory so this one we need to divide into three parts and also make sure we are leaving some overhead for the node stability so that means uh, for example right i have already calculated for this one for for us uh, just to save the time okay so we will just uh, break down first we'll reserve the overhead so we have cpu of uh, one cpu right so 15 percent if we leave the overhead that is 0 0.15 so we will remove that uh, one uh, 0 0.15 from one cpu and the same goes with the memory memory also so if we remove that right just 0 0.85 cores are um, there that we can use for our three parts right and similarly once we remove uh, the overhead from the existing memory of the node uh, memory uh, available to use for uh, the containers within the pods and uh, whatever the uh, 
um, whatever the resources after removing overhead that we will divide by three because we are running with the three replicas right so this will be around somewhere around uh, 250 m for cpu and uh, 570000 ki for memory that we can set in our deployment so let's see so once we divide node resources right till this part we are clear dividing node resources evenly across three parts now we need to allocate the resources across all the three uh, across uh, both the containers okay so we will do that so before here uh, there is one more hint right maybe we can just uh, temporarily scale down the deployment to zero and then we can update it and we can again scale up that is the one um, key important point in the question it is already mentioned so don't forget that before you modify your uh, deployment right okay so let's edit the deployment okay before editing the deployment we need to scale down the deployment right so kubectl get deployment f on a okay this is the namespace and uh, the deployment name is wordpress so kubectl scale deployment and the deployment name is wordpress and the namespace you need to provide and then our replicas we need to make sure uh, zero right so this is a um, scale down just to verify get pods if and then the namespace so no resource for right all right let's edit the deployment okay so this is our deployment looks like in our exam so go to the containers where we need to modify right under the resource section yeah here you can see right the cpu is set to somewhere around 250 but our requirement is we need to set the uh, 250 and this will be something uh, the capacity is already i have breakdown so it's a five seven double zero double zero so let's do that so five seven double zero double zero yeah this is for the main container that is the wordpress one and there is one more container if you see here that is in hit container so make sure in the exam also you might have uh, two containers okay so we need to set evenly across both the containers that is what mentioned in the question okay so once you update the resources evenly just save this and um, go ahead and uh, increase the replicas again scale up to three okay now it says the scaled now verify the parts are running or not yep you can see right the parts are running so in the exam uh, please make sure and uh, you are dividing the resources across all uh, i mean equally and uh, leaving the overhead then you don't see any issues basically and uh, and don't consider this uh, these values are are real in the actual exam uh, it, it is not considered from the exam right this is just considered from my uh, cluster if you see get notes right i think i have already added that command you can see right this is the one i have just verified so based on this i have modified the question right you, in your exam you may get the two cpus for uh, in your uh, that particular cluster or uh, the node so according to that you need to modify that so simply go ahead and uh, follow this calculation at least right that will help you so in my case i have one cpu that's why i just uh, used one in your case if you're having two or four you just uh, divided uh, um, leave that percentage and divide that by three and then make sure you are using that one 
okay don't assume this is the exact value you are going to get in the exam this is just uh, meant to be the values okay and the final one is right uh, so we have scale down and scale up uh, the replicas and the now after that we have verified right the all parts are running and ready and all the three replicas are up and running without any issues that is the final one we need to verify even in the exam itself once everything is ready and running you are good to go ahead and uh, mark it as a read um done okay that's it for this question if you have any clarifications please don't hesitate to comment and uh, thanks for watching and if you are not subscribed please do that will encourage me thanks bye for now